Hello everyone and welcome to Prairie Postcards, the first in a series of short videos here from Wind Cave National Park. My name is Ranger Mary Beth and today I'm standing right next to a prairie dog town. Before me are rolling prairie hills, lots of grasses, prairie dog mounds, and of course prairie dogs. Let's listen to these guys. That little prairie dog that was just yipping, he was warning his other prairie dog friends that there's intruder around, and that would be me. Now, we respect wildlife here, so I'm gonna keep my distance. Now, the prairie dogs are out eating grass, but they're always aware of the, the possibility of predators. So they're looking around, and sometimes they even go to the top of prairie dog mounds to, you know, have a better view. Prairie dog mounds also prevent water from flowing into the burrows when we have big downpours during the summertime. Now underground, the burrows can be up to 17 feet long. And within those burrows are chambers for food, for sleeping, for going to the bathroom, and there's even a nursery. And at this time of year, the nursery should be full because about three weeks ago, the mothers had pups, usually about five. And the mothers are nursing the young. And in about two more weeks, they will emerge from the burrows and start eating grass and basically learn how to be a prairie dog. Now, prairie dogs basically do eat grass. They also eat roots and flowers. Uh, and they'll live to be about oh, five years old. Uh, and so they, when they're eating the grass, they also are kind of like lawn mowers. You know when you mow the lawn and the, the grass grows back? Well, that new grass is very sweet, delicious, and tender for all kinds of grazers like buffalo, elk, pronghorn, and deer. Prairie dogs also provide shelter for lots of animals like insects and spiders, snakes, burrowing owls, rabbits, and black-footed ferrets. And finally, prairie dog provides meat for all kinds of animals out here on the prairie, like hawks in the sky, snakes, bobcats, coyotes, badgers, and black-footed ferrets. Now, of all the animals on the prairie, black-footed ferrets re rely almost totally on prairie dogs to eat. So if we didn't have prairie dogs here, we would not be able to have our black-footed ferret population. So when you think about it, prairie dogs are very important to this habitat. They provide shelter, they provide grass and meat. And we call these keystone species and a keystone species is kind of like the glue that holds a habitat together and if you were to take that prairie dog out of the scene the habitat would be totally different so that's it for prairie postcards today i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions definitely post them on the facebook page also next week we're going to be talking about our national mammal the buffalo so definitely post your questions and we'll see you next week